good morning it's sunday pajama plan day in spite of the fact that i forgot to change the name of the stream so you probably saw it say mixed bag stream sorry so we've got <laughs> we've got some action on the weasel cam we have willie and queen and da pubes today <laughs> i took everything out of their um out of their cage today and cleaned it out so as soon as I put them back in there, their first instinct is to go to the bathroom. So these three got it done. So they got to come and be a part of the stream today. And uh, Gracie is back in the cage with the whole place to herself. And I'm sure she's just loving that. So hello, hello. Okay, yes, we untangled. We've got Lenore's kit. I think this was last year's set. I think... <laughs> But if I remember right, I didn't touch it. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> so, okay. You guys know I've been having the dinosaur skin issues, right? I got this eye stuff, this Burt's Bees eye stuff. And it's been doing really good. But I don't want to, like, put... I didn't want to put makeup on today because I have to do it tomorrow for some other filming projects that I'm working on. So I decided, you know what? Today is a bluish teal it's a lot greener in person it looks really blue on camera so fun all right so um oh a heads up potential problem might not be a problem i don't know i have to update my gaming computer <laughs> so i have um i haven't updated it in a while because it wants to go to windows 11 and finally, David's like, just do it. Just do it. So I'm going to do that after today's stream. Provided everything goes well, we're fine. Nothing's going to change. But if it takes the piss, I'm worried that it's going to mess with Tuesday. I don't think it will, but I just wanted to kind of put it out there just in case. Updates like that, big updates like that freak me out. All right. So anyway. Hey, Colleen. All right. So I decided to go with this layout this week. I didn't um I didn't have time to get on and do date covers today. <laughs> so we can deal with that. Oh, I didn't open my chat, thank good lord. I didn't have time to do anything. Okay. There is some hardcore weasel action going on down there. <laughs> they're so cute okay what oh there's an update great yeah David updated his like I want to say a week and a half ago maybe more and he streams too so he was able to kind of test run and he hasn't had a problem with it so good <laughs> but I'm still nervous yeah, it's so... Pubes found the camera again. It's like this close to being in her reach. I don't know, man. I sound like a robot? Do I? Maybe it is time to do an update. I don't know. Nothing's different. I don't know, man. Is it everybody? I wonder why. More echoey. That's so strange. I didn't change anything. Let me see. I'm looking to see if I have another... Is that coming in as an audio source? Oh, hold on. How's that? Is that better? Oh, you butthole. Is this better? Did I fix it? Did I fix it? I don't know how that happened. Cool. All right. It uh, was picking up audio from the ferret camera. Strange. Okay, cool. That'll be fun to edit later. Yay. All right. So last week we did this craziness. Oh, Bren's here, right? Bren? Bren? Yes, Bren. Okay. Stick around, Bren, because I designed the Lilas with you in mind. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. 
Okay. So let's start. I did do pre-planning this week. Pardon. Hey, Dick. <laughs> That's mine. Brat. Queen is a troublemaker. Oh my God, you guys, look. <laughs> I have ferret-proof slippers on today. Pubes has been grabbing the toenails and pulling on them. But at least she's not grabbing my toes and pulling on them. Okay. So I poked through this kit a little bit today. And I thought I would do something with these. For our day covers. Oops, that's ineffective. Because I'm wondering if I can kind of smash like that. Because she has these little day things words and I thought this would look cute on there I don't know we'll see we'll see okay Ooh, they look cute stacked too okay so who else has been on a bit of a buying spree today well this weekend Did you guys see that pink punch is having the veterans day thing Pubes is an asshole, man. Pubes, what are you doing? Where's Willy? Oh, cool me here, Willy. <laughs> yeah, so Pink Punch, um, I got... Oh, I got the, the desk mats. Love the palette on the desk mats. Please don't bail. Please don't bail. Okay, you're just going to go. Wee. Huh. I know, right? Yeah, same. Same. Ugh, I love the blues. Love. I got the the wintry ones and I got the the pastel. Oh, she's here. God dang it. I really need to pay attention if I'm going to fan girl, I should at least know the person's in the room. But I got the uh the wintery ones the cool cool winter ones. i don't remember what it's called and i got the the pastel ones the light pastels yo i think i got them on saturday i don't know i'm always late but i used them twice already these guys are chewing my notepads up yes the cool winter that's what it's called it's so freaking pretty Love it. Do, do, do. I gotta say, you guys, it's been a couple of weeks now, and I'm absolutely loving. The oh, she's going for a tri foot again. Can you see her butt crawling up the wall? Um, but I'm still loving this stand. She is. She knows exactly what she's doing. Pubes. Oh, you're going to drop it on Willie. Dang, did you see that fall? <laughs> cool winter set and Calypso. I don't think I know Calypso. I don't think I've shopped there. This could get dangerous. All right. So I'm going to have to repaste these. Okay. Hey, show of hands. Who here besides Crystal, I don't know if Crystal's even here, um, requested the uh, the motorcycle set? Because I remember there was a few. I want to say maybe it was Anna. Oh, is that who it is? Okay. Friday. Sunday. Okay, I, Queen, please don't take that down. Pubes, go over there. Okay, so I finished it. I'm sneak peeking. And where'd I put it? Here. Look at how cute! 
It's adorable. I'm not even the hugest fan of motorcycles, but I love Quinn with her little jacket. Oh, these weasels are weird. Super cute. Okay. Back to work. All right. So, oh, Monday. Okay. I'm not 100% sold on the day covers just because it feels like this is a font that I used to use a long time ago. No, Anna, these are not going to be out until December at the earliest. Any kit with a refreshed character won't be out until after November. Okay. So I think we'll go... If somebody hits me with a yellow bomb, at least this kit has yellow in it. I think I'll use the... Well, no, because then I'll have the yellow on already. See, now I'm like, what are they going to do to me? Oh, now they're all fighting over my tripod. That's just great. <laughs> I know, right? I'm learning. We'll use this pie. I don't want to make this pink and blue because I'm not trying to go for that kind of a look. But at the same you time... You son of a bitch. Well, that was fair, I suppose. I brought that on myself. But as mentioned, the kit has yellow in it, so we will use this one after all. Who's chewing on my ten nails? Queen. I mean, I mentioned it. I wouldn't say, oh, I wouldn't say that was asking for it. All right. So this is going to be for paying bills. Oh, I forgot to turn my keyboard on. I connected my keyboard to my iPad because I'm fancy now. Pay the bills. I still want to get one of those fancy keyboards like Neva has. <laughs> I don't know why they're so obsessed with it. Okay. Oh, I even have... Good God, Jenna. <sighs> How about if we pajama plan? Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. They are so nice. Hers, like, we, when we did that video with, um, where we were reacting to the memes that Crystal had put up, um, she was typing because we were on like Zoom or whatever, and I could hear her typing and it was just like the most chill noise. For me, normally the sound of typing, it's like whatever the opposite of ASMR is, it's like, I can't, it's just that sound that just... Oh, it makes my skin crawl. But the one that she has is such a nice, calming noise. It's it's beautiful. I don't I don't remember what it's called. I know it's like two hundred fifty dollars though. Homegirl put some money into her keyboard. But it's um. I know they have it on Amazon, but I don't I don't remember what it's called. Hopefully she'll pop in later and we can ask her. Cause it's freaking nice it's for uh, it's bluetooth so you could use it with your ipad your iphone you know or you could use it bluetooth with a computer i don't know i haven't looked that close because it's freaking expensive but i'm pretty sure it has at least two bluetooths blue teeth blue bluetooths it's a weird word um, so you can connect it to multiple devices. Quirk, let me look. That doesn't sound right, but I'm going to look because obviously I can't remember. Quirky keyboard. Not that. Oh, that might be it, actually. Does it is it pink? Because hers is pink. What the 
frick is that? No, this is not the right website. <gasps> this might be it. God dang it, where's the... I'm looking for the colors, because if I see it in pink, then I'll know. No, this is not it. This is white and black gold. That's the one that I have now. I have the, the, this one, the K380. And I've got this one connected to my Windows gaming PC, my MacBook, and my iPad. And I love it. And I have the mouse that goes with it too, so it goes with all three. Love it. The, I, I can't say anything but good things about this one. It works fantastic. But the, the one that Neva has, it's just so pretty. I mean, it's not practical, honestly, being real, but it's so pretty. But I really do like the K380. It's a really good keyboard. What the hell was that? <laughs> you can't hear them, probably, but they're making the ferret noise. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Logitech. I know, and the one I have, I mean, it's pretty. It matches my setup. It matches everything. But I, and it doesn't do the, the uh, noise. I don't, I can't with that noise. David's keyboard has that noise that I can't stand. Oh God. Ooh. I have the, the AirPods that have the noise cancellation. Like you can squeeze it and it shuts off background noise. I have to do that when he's typing because I cannot stand that noise. Oh, Anna, if you have it, try it. It's awesome. Oh, is that what she has? I'm going to look that up too because I want to see. K-N-E-W. Why do I keep typing I? K-Jenna. K-N-E-W. Hey, pubes be nice, dick. Yes, this is the one. Hold on. Oh my God, it's 30% off. <gasps> Santa. Hold on. Tell me I don't need to buy this keyboard. Look at how pretty it is. It's beautiful. And it makes the most pretty click noise. <sighs> I don't need a keyboard. I don't need a keyboard. Okay. What are we doing? Where's my thing? Plants. Oh. I don't think I watered my plants this week. Let's see. Mandy? Enabler? Okay, I'm just going to steal this blue. And then I'm going to be a dick. Okay. I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to use a piece from a kit that's not out yet because I'm a jerk. I want this one. Oh, I, I can be a dick. Yes, I can, actually. Hold on, let me... It's so dang pretty. Here, I'll send you a message on Instagram. No, that's Jen. There we go. There you go. Okay. Oh, I love that. All right. I need to put day covers on. What is Monday? The 15th. Oh, God. Quietly telling it. Dude. 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 <laughs> I 100% get it. 100% get it. I've been trying this week. Well, for the past two weeks. 
to work through the list that you guys have been giving me of kits that you want to see. So I'm getting, I'm getting a good way through it. I just, this time of year, there's a lot of like time sensitive content that needs to go out. So it's like, okay, well, I have to release this. I have to release that. Oh, this week, Thanksgiving is going to come out on Friday. Do you guys want to see Thanksgiving for this year? It's so cute. What was I really doing? I forgot. Oh, right. The reason this whole thing started. I need to redo my filming kit. But I haven't had time. Let's see. Okay, let me drop the sticker down and then I'll pull it out. Sounded weird. You know, one thing I gotta say, and this is probably my Arizona showing, having all of these hair things, like all these different colored wigs and styles and stuff, it really helps to keep my head warm. <laughs> because I am freezing my butt off. It's code. We have snow on the ground. Wait, what else needs to go here? Oh, school. Yeah, that too. That too, I guess. Okay. I really like the weeks when I kind of just do a mishmash of stickers in the square. Outline. Video. Oh, whoops, that fell behind, didn't it? Cubes, you're really going to town on that ball, aren't you? There we go. And then I'll squeeze schoolwork in here. Or just school, maybe. See, look how cute that is. And then I'll find a school sticker. And then I'll get the Thanksgiving sticker to show you guys. No, that's sassy. Well, I mean, sassy can work for school, too. Come here, buddy. Ooh, a sassy school kit. Yo, that would be a big hit in my house. They're, oh, that's so cute. 88? Oh my gosh. Sci fantasy. I don't remember who that is. Who is that? Where are you going, pubes? You already took my tripod. Jerk. Okay, let me find it. Hold on. 75. See, 75 is okay. Oh, you can't see that. All right, let me scroll this, scroll Right, here we go. January, really? Which one is it? Oh, that sucks. That's right after the holidays. Wait, is this last year's Thanksgiving? This is last year's Thanksgiving. Here we go. Oh, good notes. Why would you do this to me? There we go. Look at Nico and Davey. This one I had to do, um, oh, the white gold one. Oh, pubes. Just take the jump there, girl. This one I had to do, um, with but see, okay, here's the dilemma I'm running into, you guys. I was griping about this to my PR team this week. There's only certain characters that I that are like available for me to work with right now because at the end of the month, anything that's got a revamp, the old ones are gonna come down. So I don't want to make a set for a character that's just gonna be down like the next day. You know what I mean? Um, excuse me, you don't get to be on that shelf. There's expensive stuff up there. Say hello, pubes. <laughs> you done? Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, this one. Oh, here we go. Before I forget, I heard of an app I saw. Picks have. Oh, where's my pen? I gotta write it down. Oh, I still haven't looked at that stinking... Someone sent me a... I think it was Jen sent me a link for that Lightroom alternative. I screen captured it so that I'd remember to look and I just haven't had time. I'm gonna kick you out, pubes. P-I-X-H-A-B-E. Got it. 
You guys, I'm getting stupid excited for Zinnia's PDF import option. I'm curious. This has nothing to do with this week's planning, but I'm going to bring this up anyway. I'm curious if it's going to have, like, force the rounded edges. Like, all of Zinnia's current notebooks have rounded edges to them, right? Which, I mean, it's not a huge thing, but I like to, like, plan to the edges sometimes. You son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Ah! I like to plan to the edges sometimes, and having rounded corners makes that harder. All right, let's see. Wee. What about these dots? These dots are yellow. I mean, they're yellow without, like, punching the weenie yellow. Let's see if I can shimmy them up to this line. There. Oh, no! Ah! So ah! <sighs> Jake, are you tagging, like, I see somebody else's stickers, or are you tagging, like, in a catalog of your own stickers? Because that would be interesting. Really, Queen? You're just going to jump for it? Because that might be interesting. <laughs> She's going after my foot. What's under there? Are you hiding my stuff? Oh, I just found my tripod. Ooh. Okay, that I can get behind. Because, like, my pink punch stash alone, there's a lot, yo. There's a lot. And it would be so easy to just type in, um, like, floral for example, and pull up all the plants. Or you could type plants, I suppose. Can you explain all the different challenge? Don't know how to use them. Which challenge? Or maybe that doesn't say challenge. Collage? Anna, what are you trying to say here? Oh, those! Gotcha! <laughs> So, okay. A lot of them are just for fun. Like the eye candy one. What is this? Hold on. So we've got the the ones that make me have to do things is hydrate, which I don't even see. Did hydrate get taken off? Where did hydrate go? Um, the yellow bomb. Yes, I have to use a sticker. Oh, somebody found it. Oh, why don't I see it? Who found it? Oh, Anna found it. Okay. That forces me to drink. Um, And then the potty mouth means I can't say a bad word until the timer runs out. <sighs> the timer is active, so I can't say a bad word. And then one of the... Dude, slow down. That one is for Tuesdays. For when we're creating something. That's the... Um, Jenna, you're going too fast. And then the rest of them are just fun, like this one. Thanks a lot, Crystal. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I was editing the uh, Tuesday stream last week, do you remember toward the beginning when somebody dropped the thanks, I'm Crystal? Aquarius. I enjoy sunsets, long walks on the beach, and frisky women. <clears throat> Yum. But somebody dropped the Crystal thing, and all of us jumped. When I was editing it, it got me again, and I jumped, and I was like, God dang it. It doesn't seem as loud today, right? The strange one's just a fun one. Um, the strange, the Morticia, the Thanks Crystal, Eye Candy. Those ones are just for fun. Yeah, honestly, it's all really just for fun. But I did include the uh, the slow down one specifically for when we're doing like follow along drawing stuff. I made that one with Bren in mind. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Did we finish Monday? Oh my goodness, we did. How's my timer? <clears throat> okay. Oh, yay. Let's see. Oh, I drew the Maynards to put Maynard into our, um, the little avatar guys, but I haven't uploaded him yet. 
Where's my budget? There it is. You know, we did a layout like this like two weeks ago, but it feels like I haven't done one in so long. Time is weird. Did we do that one on stream? I don't know. I know. I drew him. I just have to get, I have to do the programming to get him in there. Pubes, what are you doing? Do you see her feet back there? Sassy pubes. All right. So we have more school on Tuesday. Hooray. I'm an Aquarius. I enjoy sunsets, long walks on the beach, and frisky women. I'll never get tired of that. I will never get tired of that. Oh, did everybody get to download it? I wasn't going to say nothing. But at the same time, uh, Patreon sucks at, at notifying people. It sucks at notifying me. All right. I'm going to say that right now. It sucks at notifying me of anything. <laughs> Look at pubes. <laughs> but yeah, that one did drop this morning. I thought it was adorable. No. You're a problem child. Do you know that? No, oh, it's it. Yeah, it's I don't know how to fix that. <sighs> Sorry, I had to shoo someone toward the litter box. Queen, you are too chunky to be up there. You're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to make Patreon notify like even if somebody sends somebody somebody sends me a direct message it won't notify me of it like mandy had to send me a message earlier this week saying hey jenna did you see this <sighs> hold on one second guys ferret emergency that button's not working god dang it where's my brb <laughs> They have been removed from the building. <sighs> okay. So what'd you do on break, Jenna? Well, I uh, tried to clean ferret poo out of a pink carpet. And I don't think this timer needs to be going. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. They all went before I sat down. Every single one of them. I don't remember what we were talking about before that happened. Haven't opened it, but I did download it. Oh, you need to open it. It's so cute. All right. What is the... I think these might match, actually. Okay. Schoolwork. I got to record a bunch of crap. Wait. I wasn't paying attention. This goes over here. Ugh. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I guess I did myself a solid and didn't put a lot of stuff on Tuesday. So outlining could use something like this or maybe this book. No, no, let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Why is this pie sitting on Wednesday? Oh, because I got color bombed, right? Okay. Wednesday. Oh, trash. I think I'm going to have to go with my standard trash. Did I put my trash things in here? No. No. Well, one of these days I'll pre be prepared, but it is not this day. 
chores? I don't think it's in here. Oh, it is. Yay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put these in elements right now. And then we're going to go back over here, go to elements. Boink. Look at that. Love it. Now, I'm curious. I pulled these in as a pair, but are they... They're still separated. Oops. That's actually kind of cool. What if I do like this? That might be too big, so we're gonna, oops, that's the wrong thing. Ooh, I called it. Cute. Okay. Did you put yours in elements? Yeah, the uh, the one with the trash bins was an old one. That was, I think, I think that was Earth Day 20, 2020, maybe? You put yours in elements, Colleen? Nice. I finally did it. I finally did it. Hey, Neva. We were talking about you earlier. We were talking about your fancy, bougie keyboard. Just need more colors. Oh, you guys are so funny with these trash bins. Okay, Wednesday. Oh, editing. Yay. I mean, okay. We, we had a moment about elements, I think, on Tuesday. Um, because before I did that test where I took everything out of good notes, deleted the app and then brought the app back in. It got rid of not all of what I had put into elements, but I'd say two thirds of it was gone. So I'm like, okay, it's neat. It is a cool concept, but I, I don't think that I would ever store things there or put my entire collection there because Crap does happen, and if I have to reload GoodNotes again, I'm going to be pissed if I put so much work into that and then it was just gone. That would make me mad. So I put stuff in, in elements that's like, I just put these trash bins in there after, what, three months of talking about it, you guys? So I put the trash bins in there. I have my little social media dudes I put in there this week. I have some transients in there, and then I have... Um, some Lila's in there, which I don't even, don't even have all my Lila's in there. Um, so I don't use elements as much as some people do. So I don't know that I would be the best to explain it <laughs> mostly because I will dog it for losing my stuff because it did. So I do say though, that if you're going to use it, make sure you don't delete your source files because it doesn't, it doesn't keep them all. I was mad. Okay. What was Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Wednesday. I feel like I can kind of cover up this pie and get some use out of this box. And then what else is on Wednesday? Okay. See, Colleen, I need to do that too. Neva, girl, you have been saying that you're going to stream every single week for like the past five weeks or six weeks. And I have yet to see you pop on here. You stress me out. <laughs> I'm always like, ooh, Tuesday. Neva's supposed to stream today. And then you make it worse because you say, I'm streaming in one hour. Ears stapled? What is that? Right? I bet. What is, what is stapled? 
Get right. <laughs> I have so much fun streaming. Streaming is so fun. I do. Um, I, I've kind of started doing just all planner stuff on here, but I'm thinking that I'm going to use my my Facebook uh, ID for other types of streaming just because it's so fun to just sit here and just screw around and play a surgical staple in your ear to help relieve migraines huh see I've heard that I've heard of the piercing and I've heard of the Botox my sister-in-law had the Botox done and she said that it helped her a lot Yeah, right, right, exactly. I've heard hit or miss things on the piercing. Some people said it have helped and some people said it didn't. But, I mean, that's going to be the same for any kind of remedy, honestly. Dude, you don't want to know what I'd pierce to get rid of my migraines. Jeez. Oh, really, Anna? Cool. Yeah, Botox is kind of, that's kind of scary. I don't know. I just, I have a hard time screwing with Mother Nature, you know? Oh, Jen, see, when I have my um, my clusters, I usually get them approximately twice per year. Dude, it's same. 20 days out of 30, I have some sort of migraine activity. It sucks ass. Thankfully, it only lasts for like two, two and a half weeks. But man, it's a B. A chiropractor, really? <laughs> I see what you said, Mandy. Oh, that's awful. It's weird. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of mine is like weather triggered um, because it's it usually seems like when the pressure changes is when it hits. Um, but then there's like other things like really strong, hit, like perfume smells. They just go right here, man. Just right there. And then um, really bright lights will do it too but not like this type of lighting it's like a flash like a camera flash Ooh, girl mm -mm. i don't like that you made an appointment though right neva i think i remember you saying that you had an appointment I don't know if we have any portfolios this weekend. I really don't want to know, so I'm not even going to look. Shots in the butt? What kind? I had that, too. Oh, Anna, see, that's that's something, too. When I had, I had my cartilage pierced, and it, same, it was a real pain in the ass with the headphones. I really like these ones. Because they have these big cups and like your ear just like fits in. There. I mean, it's not doing it now because I have a hat on. But like my ear totally fits in there and it works. You told her a piercing doesn't work. See, yeah, that I could see. Your body gets used to it, right? Now, okay, you say a staple. I'm picturing like, like when you're wounded and they staple you shut. You know what I'm talking about? Is is are we on the same page here? What what is this? I have buds. I I use them when I have like a really substantial hat on. But um I they're harder to keep in when you're constantly talking and keeping the flow of chat going. Um these ones will stay on regardless of how much talking I'm doing. Huh literally a staple i'm gonna have to look into that because that's like really scary <clears throat> did it help though neva hey katie i mean it's been it's been like that with all of them i have the airpods pro i have the regular earbuds i have I, the, all the little fitted tips. I had the jawbone ones for a while. And it's, I mean, if I'm, 
like they stay in when I'm running. They stay in when I'm exercising and doing whatever. <clears throat> but <clears throat> sorry, guys. I just feel like I have to constantly reposition. Um, but I mean, everybody's ears are shaped different too. So these for me, when I'm streaming are more comfortable, but I see people out jogging and things like this and there's no way I could do that. Yeah, I bought those, um, those little silicone claw things to go over the iPods or the AirPods and those work just fine too. I mean, it's, they don't fall out. They're just not comfortable when I'm talking. I used to hate over ear ones until I started doing YouTube and then it just, the sound makes it, I don't know. It's, it's, I've been doing YouTube for a while now. It's been a few years now. Um, and the headphone technology has gotten so much better over the past couple of years. So like my earbuds back then sucked compared to these. Um, but now like my AirPods are amazing, but I wouldn't use them for streaming because they're Bluetooth. So there's always going to be that micro delay. Yeah. Right. Neva. Same. That's Amanda. That was my problem too. I always had, like, I always felt like they hurt my ears. These are the only ones I've bought that don't. I have another pair that are, um, Astro. God dang, things were like $250. They were so expensive and their sound is phenomenal. Ears are perfect. They're really big. They're chunky, but they're so God dang heavy that they make my head hurt. And so I went back to these and I will always use these ones. These are bows. I bought, well, let me see, hold on. Um, it doesn't say the model, but these are, these are bows and they're both wired and Bluetooth. So I use them wired when I'm streaming and they connect directly into my mixer here, but then I can take this off and it'll automatically Bluetooth connect to my iPad. They're so amazing. Oh, Jen, cool. Thank you. I wear one rocking guitar on Rocksmith. Nice. Skull candy hurt my ears too. I couldn't do those at all. Not even a little. Same, Anna. I'm the same way. Yeah, these ones are the bows. I got them at Best Buy like two or three years ago. They still sell them though. These are great. I love these headphones. No, you can't. You can't. Bluetooth for anything live is really useless because um, I, what was it? I think it was when we first started live streaming on Facebook forever ago. Um, I was trying to do it Bluetooth and like, it's so distracting because you say something and then like a quarter of a second later, you hear it playing back. And the same thing with, um, with podcasting or with voice recording. Like if you're doing music, it's almost impossible to monitor because it's always Bluetooth itself, just as a, uh, concept, I guess it's always going to have that split second delay that kills any kind of live output or input. So I, these ones I bought specifically because they'll do both. So I can listen to Bluetooth if I'm working or editing video. When I'm editing video, I use these Bluetooth, but when I'm doing live, I always have them wired. I don't remember which ones I have. David has the same ones. His are black and blue, I think, but I love them. I saw that, um, Apple has an over ear pair now. I am not spending $500 to find out if they're going to hurt my ears or not. I almost crapped my pants when I saw how expensive those were. It's like, are you seriously trying to do $900? Neva, isn't it? I love it so much. David bought me this one and then he bought me like this variety pack of silicone cases. This one has not come off. Well, it did one time because I put the pencil in wrong, but this has stayed on since then. I don't see myself changing it. I love this one so much right and you're like my thumb I don't know how y'all write I write kind of weird like 
my thumb is like halfway up the pen like this instead of how most people do it like that. I write like this and it fits right in this little silicone groove right here. It's perfect. Sleep buds. I wish I could play music and not just sleep noise. I have, okay, so I, I have this hat. Okay. I, any of you guys with like crazy curly hair, like mine, we do a, no, I'm cutting myself off. This has not moved once since I put it on. It is a huge pain in the ass to put this sucker on here. Jen, turn it around. I did the same thing. If you look at it, there is a little thing that says magnetic. Okay. I assumed that this was the magnetic side, the side with the hole. It's not. It's different than every other damn pen case out there. I crammed it in backwards the first time and I was like, damn, it doesn't charge while you're using it. I don't understand it. And then I looked closer and I was like, why does that say magnetic right there? Flipped it around and it charges perfect. Neva, I did the same thing. Yes, I did the same damn thing. And now you, it, it is a bitch to get off. I'm going to say that, but you turn it over and it charges perfectly. You get these on Amazon, Mary Jo. It is the Elago, E-L-A-G-O. And this is the chunkiest heckin' pen sleeve ever that still charges magnetically. I love this thing. I love this thing. D Neva, it's going to do better. I'm telling you, it's going to do better. Perfect charge. It's chunky. It's great to write with. Love. I'm like, I, I'm not changing this. I love this one. <laughs> it's like, you just find the one. And what I love about it. Okay. I've gone through some pen sleeves in my day. All right. I'm a pen sleeve whore as it were. I hate the ones that have the, like the really cute piece up here, but then it cuts off like right here. I freaking hate that so much. I have one right here. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, mine stretched out too. This one hasn't, and I've had it on here for weeks. This one, okay? This is freaking adorable. I love this pen sleeve, but it does this. It stops right here. I hate that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I have to, like... And like my finger just sits there, right? And it pulls at the edge of it. I hate that. This one goes all the way to the tip. It tapers and it fits perfectly. Love it. This company should sponsor me for how much of these things. I'm like, you need to buy these. They're great. Now, yes, Jay can confirm. This will not fit in any pencil case sleeve. It won't. It just won't. It is the chunkiest sleeve I've ever used. And then it will be at the bottom. Yeah, right? Exactly. I have a black one too. This is Caleb's stylus. I have a black one that's for the Gen 2 pencil. And yeah, like I'm constant. Look. This looks inappropriate. But you see what I'm saying, right? It just slides down there. Oh, I hate that heat. I can't stand that. I have one, it's pink, and then it has the, the darker pink eraser, and then I have a purple tip on it. I blew through an entire tip yesterday. Charge, I don't even care that it doesn't fit my case. Jen, yes, exactly. That's what I was saying. Um, the, this, it's, it's not going to fit in a case, but I use the either the Magic Keyboard or the Folio Keyboard with mine, so I don't have a case spot. But if you have the dang thing in here right, and I'm giving myself crap about that too. If you have it in here right, the magnet is just as strong. It just, it just clips right on there. Love it. Neva, these come in different colors. David bought me this as a surprise. So I didn't even know they made these. And have already used for, oh, see, I'm going to have to get some more. That's awesome. Pink, yellow, blue, and green. Ooh. See, when I used the first gen pencil, yes, Neva, please do. That's very helpful. When I used the first gen pencil, I loved pencil grips, but I can't with the pull it on and take it off thing because A, it's annoying and I'm lazy. 
And two, I feel like it stretches out the sleeves or the skins faster. Oh, Katie, I was looking at AliExpress to get a new um, case when I got my my new phone, but I'm impatient. It's like their shipping was like four weeks to the U.S. And I was like, yeah, I'm not waiting that long. I am stupid impatient. Let me see this Thursday. Okay, let's keep going. Now, I keep putting games on here for Thursday. I keep doing it. Even though it's not happening. It's wishful thinking on my part. Because we are all just too heckin' busy during the school year. Where did this go? Okay. They have gray? Oh, damn it. Hey, Marla! Only sells on Amazon US and delivery costs is no fun. Yeah, that's a real pain in the ass, too. Absolutely. Ooh. I'm a sucker for, like, accessories. Accessories are my thing. I used to have... <laughs> okay, so when I lived in Phoenix... What, what is... Oh, yeah. When I lived in Phoenix, um, we lived next door <clears throat> to one of these... Uh, it wasn't like an official dollar store, but it was uh, one of those like, <clears throat> it wasn't a dollar store. Okay, we'll say that. It wasn't a dollar store, but they sold a lot of stuff really, really inexpensive. And one of the things that they would always sell was cell phone cases. Got it. They sold cell phone cases. And... And they were so inexpensive and there were so many and they were so cute. I was constantly, constantly buying cell phone cases and swapping them out. Always. So I had a collection. I probably had like 30 cell phone cases at one point. This is probably for my five iPhone five. So we're talking this a while ago, but, um, I had so many of them. David used to make fun of me. He's like, do you really need that many cell phone cases? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <clears throat> In fact, I need to get a new one. Mine's really pretty. But look at it. It's getting these little things all over it. And I don't like that. But it's like pink and sparkly, which you can't see. And these things are not as gross looking as they look in person. They look way worse on the camera. That's really disgusting. <laughs> it's not dirt, right? It's not dirt. It doesn't come off. I don't know what it is. What stream deck are you using, Jenna? I use the standard, the regular size, the 15 button. It'll be there, Claudette. In fact, if you send me a DM, I will send you the link for the Lilas too. Yeah, I have the 15 button and... Honestly, it's enough buttons for me. They have one that has six, I think, but I need more than that. And then they have one that has like 30, I want to say, and that's too many. That's too much choices. Cool. Okay. Okay, not going to lie, that typing was a little annoying. Oh, that's big. There we go. <laughs> it's such a bitch to get off, Neva. I told you. I told you. I was. I had to get David to do it because I couldn't get it off. Um, I use the, I'm going to spell this, O-T-R-A-K-I. I buy them in bulk um, because I lose them a lot. <laughs> but uh, I will say I have very small hands. So on me, they're big. Like they are, they're pretty big on me. How the heck did he do it? He just kind of did like a, it's going to be inappropriate. Stick it against your knee and wait. No, that was how he got it on there. 
I don't know how we got. I'm not going to try because I'm going to get it lost. Uh, Mandy, yes, you'll have to show it to me because now I want a gray one. I mean, I love pink, but I also love gray too. But yeah, it, it's the, you put it in the opposite of how you think it should go. That is 100% true. Because I saw on Amazon, because I first put it in the wrong way, we established this, <clears throat> and it just would not work. And I was like, what the heck? What's going on? And so I looked at um, reviews on Amazon, and like half of the people there were saying, oh, this thing is a piece of... Mm, it doesn't work, you know, don't waste your money, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I started messing with it. And then I looked, like I said, I saw that it said magnetic here. And I was like, oh my God, do I have it on backwards? And then I think it was, it was either Million Dollar Fame Habit. To the queen. To the queen. It was either Million Dollar Habit or Lux Book, I think, that posted on their stories this week, the same exact thing. They're like, it's not charging. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs> and the comments were like, no, 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 it does work. Turn your pencil around. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It works fantastic, though. You just have to make sure you put it in right. They have mint green, too. Damn it. Why don't I know these? Oh, I just got Claudette's message. Cool. Okay. I'm going to have to get them in, like, every color. I'm telling you. That's awesome. October. Yep, that's Jenna. I will say, having the keyboard makes typing stuff a lot faster. I got pink because it matches my bougie keyboard. Yeah, David got me pink because it matches my bougie iPad cases. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, right, exactly. I don't I don't know, man. I I don't even think it came with instructions. It, no, it might have. I don't know. It came in one of the boxes like the Apple sleeves come in. So like the fancy boxes. Oh, did she? Right on. Yeah, so, I mean, there might have been instructions, like, smashed down in there, but I don't remember seeing any. But, yeah, I I felt stupid. But then I laughed because everybody else was having the same problem. And I was like, okay, uh, it's not just me. I'm not a solo moron here. So, yeah. It's an issue. Hey, because my phone covers Jack Skellington. Hell, yeah. Jack Skellington rocks. See, I would get... I need to get like a Lenny Digital's one made. I would sport that so much. But then I would be sad because when my phone upgraded, then like I wouldn't be able to use the case anymore and that would make me sad. What am I doing? Oh, this is the wrong book. Okay. I'm like, did I write pay bills on here? Because I don't remember doing it. Let's see. I wish there was an easier select all feature. I don't like how that looks. Maybe we'll use some Hawthorne. Oh, wow, we have a lot of things that I missed. Don't remember. So See? Okay, no instructions. Oh, blue cool. I haven't started my planner yet. It's on my list, yo. It's on my list. I haven't done it yet. 
Is it snowing here right now? My, Jay, my magic keyboard, it connects just like, like that. You don't have to do anything to it. In fact, there is no cable connection to it. So, oh, oh, shut up. Are you serious, Neva? See, I forget that keyboard functions work when you're using the keyboard with it. We better try it. Son of a bitch. There we go. <laughs> it worked. We got snow yesterday and then I woke up and it was still here. So that was neat. I I went outside as soon as I saw that it was snowing to take like panicked, it's snowing pictures. Okay, one last school thing. Let's see. We already have Hawthorne. Ooh, this is going to match that pink right there. Nice. Go away, school. It's halfway back onto the magnet. It slightly works better already. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Yeah, my magic keep... Let me see. Hold on. She's right here. It just... It has the connector on the bottom, but that's for charging. So I just put... And then these little, these little prickly things right here are what's connecting it and talking to the iPad. So I, if yours isn't working like that, Jay, send it back because it's the fault of, you got a faulty keyboard because there's no connection. There's no set it up. You just put it on and it connects. That's what it's supposed to do. So if yours isn't doing that, you got a bunk one, definitely send it back. See, I love the snow. I love when it's actively snowing because it's so pretty. I don't like when the roads look gross, but even then I kind of don't hate it because I mean, snow is still novel to me. We've been, I think this will be our fourth winter here, but I mean, I lived in Arizona for like over 30 years and you don't see snow unless you live near Flagstaff, which I didn't. So yeah. Yeah, Jay, it should work. So definitely try a restart. And then if it doesn't, get an exchange because it's it's an amazing tool. It really does turn your tablet into like a, a MacBook style product. Obviously, there's some things you can't do, but I'll say this. Okay, for anybody who's a big nerd like I am, one of the things that I loved about the it's a $99 keyboard. Oh, are you talking about one that looks like this, but it's silver? Oh, yeah, I don't like driving in the snow. I don't like driving in the snow at all. Yeah, these, the, the ones that are the separate keyboard, those should connect Bluetooth. You shouldn't need a cable to connect that. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't get old for me either. It's, I mean, when it gets to like March slash April, I'm like, okay, y'all, it's kind of cold still. But like when the snow first starts, I'm like, oh, it's snowing and I'm like a big nerd. But I don't, I don't get tired of there being snow. I love the snow. Oh, see, yeah. Snow for me means that I don't have to shave my legs. I mean, I don't have to anyway, but it kind of justifies it. <laughs> and I get to wear sweaters. I love sweaters. I love snow. I am kind of a wussy for driving in the snow. I've slid twice. I almost shit my pants the first time I was in my Jeep and I was coming off of the freeway in St. Paul. And thankfully, there was no other cars there. But I slowed down like you do. You know, it's just a little slow. We gladly feast on those who would subdue us. And I hit that corner and my entire Jeep just went on its own. 
And I wasn't going fast. I was like maybe going four miles an hour because I was getting ready to turn. Yo, I stopped my car on the side of the road and I was like, hell to the no. Hell no. See, I lived in Coeur d'Alene for about eight months and it snowed there. And I loved it. And that was just when I was in high school. I, li I did one year of high school in Priest River. And um, then uh, in Coeur d'Alene, I lived in an apartment in Coeur d'Alene after that. And um, I loved, loved the snow. But we only did, we only I only lived there for that one season. Oh, I remember Old Town. Oh my God. That's so weird. That is so weird. See, that, yeah, that was like in Arizona, rain would do that because the, the streets would just flood so bad. We had, uh, we lived in Maricopa for uh, like two, no, it was like four years, I think. And um, we used to call our street, we lived on Sparks Drive. We used to call it Lake Sparks Drive when it rained because it would just be a river just flowing down through the subdivision. seven years now in Kentucky. Nice. I lived in South Carolina for a year. I didn't like it there. <laughs> I used to clean snow. <gasps> oh my God. I would, I would poop myself stupid. Mm -mm. I don't like, <laughs> sound weird. I don't like not being in control of things. Not like I'm controlling, but I hate feeling like I'm in situations that I I don't have, like in a vehicle that's moving on its own, you know? I, I can't control where it's going, like if I'm sliding on ice. That scares me so much. Yeah, Jay, my aunt moved out there to Maricopa when Rancho El Dorado first came in. And that was when there, I think there was a Walmart and maybe a Fry's, I think, and a gas station. And now there's like multiple subdivisions. There's um, a big casino, I think, there now. There's like a mall out there now. Lots of stuff. We we lived out there when the, um, what was it called? The, the big pavilion where <sighs> Ultra Star, I think it's Ultra Star, um, first got built when we were living there. I, th I think it's Ultra Star. Wow. I don't remember. Okay. Saturday. Oh, Saturday's our Patreon stream, guys. Got to remember to do that. Where's my reminder? Oh, it's in my Maynard folder. Which I can open now. Oh. Can I, though? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be safe. Oh my God, that's so scary. Who's asking, whoever's asking me about Lila's, Bren, text me or send me a DM so I don't forget because I will. My car was hard. Oh man. I've heard the Colorado snow is no freaking joke. It's all hilly there. That's scary shit, yo. Where's my Maynard... There he is. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, he matches the, the little swipe on Saturday. Oh, that's scary. Scary! I don't like it! It's like... <laughs> One of my, my things that I'm always scared of about driving at night is like hitting animals. Bye, Bren. It's like hitting animals. I've, I've, knock on wood, I've never hit anything substantial. And, and I mean more than like a bird. I hit a bird one time. I was so traumatized, you guys. I'm not, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm not good at that at all. Let's see. Mandy's birthday is on Saturday. Oh, 
Oh, and samplers too. Yeah, and samplers, I guess. Can I open the samplers page? <laughs> Probably not. I'm going to do it anyway. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so sad. That's sad. Wait, what are we talking about? A cyclone? Oh God, that's scary as fuck. Ew, Barbie, gross. Ew. It happens though. I mean, I can't deny it. So you guys, I, this just occurred to me. I think I might, I don't know. I don't know what to do about samplers now that we're having uh, the refresh. Oops. Because trying not to be a douchebag, but the new characters take a lot longer to draw than the regular characters. So I don't know if I can fit that time in for spilling ranch. Jeez. Oh, Katie downloaded. It's so cute. So, okay. I have another idea that's kind of been brewing around in my head. Stay out of my head, you guys. It's not a great place. It's very loud and busy. But I was thinking of doing a different kind of, I guess, content? I guess content? Um, that would be something between regular kits and transient type content that would stay up longer, I guess. I'm not getting rid of samplers. I'm not getting rid of samplers. Hey, Crystal. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to think, do I want to just do a couple of characters that I rotate through? Because being real, I won't have the time to make sampler kits with the redesigned characters. It's not going to happen. There's no way. So I'm like, okay, so should I just do samplers with like Davy and Sassy because they don't have monthlies? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but I have a new, um, that new thing I'm thinking of doing it. I need to flesh out ideas and finish them before I start taking on new things, but that never happens. I just, I just add stuff to the pile. So, I don't know. I don't know. Are you still fighting with that, Neva? So anyways, keep an eye out in December. I might be doing something new. We'll see. And um, I finished the Extreme Planner for December today. And for the Patreon streamer, streamers, followers, that's going to go live on Tuesday. Public release... <laughs> The last day of the month is Tuesday, so it's going to come out the day before again. I even took a short break for Ari's Christmas shopping since she's napping. Nice! Okay, maybe I will do that. We'll see, because that would be... That might be something that I can do. I don't know. I'll put it, I'll put it in the maybe pile, because that would, that would be feasible. And I have to be realistic in how much time that I have. It's not a lot. <laughs> oh, look, we're on Sunday. Pajama planning. Seriously? I need to go through my camera roll. This is a mess. And then my, actually, let's put this down here. My only other, no, you stay up there. My only other element that I did was my social media dudes. So they can go right there. Oh, that was so much easier that way. Um, I have one, the coexist kit that I sneaked last week. That one's going to come out this month. 
um, because it includes Hanukkah, which starts um, in, I think it's the 28th of this month. So I want to get it out before then. Literal holiday kits beyond that will be um, probably the first week of December. What is the first week of December? Hold on, let me look. Um, maybe the 27th? I'm not sure. I will do a Yule kit if there is a request for it. I, you guys know that trying to do stuff inclusive is 100% my brand. So if there is a call for people who want to see a Yule kit, let me know. Okay, that's two. I'll write it down. <laughs> got it. Got it. And I underlined it twice. It, yes, doesn't that... No, I'm not going to make myself sound dumb. But yes, yes, I do know that the, the J has the Y sound in Swedish. Stop! But yeah, holiday kits will probably start rolling out on the 27th. Oh, is it? Oh, this probably from the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um... So yeah, if there is any holiday specific requests, y'all need to pile those on me on me now. Um, I am wanting to redo or rather do a new version of the um, Hail Santa kit because that was my favorite holiday kit last year. <laughs> and I don't know if it was anybody else's, but it was mine and... Honestly, if I'm drawing something like that, it's because I want to use it. So I'll probably do that one. That kit was so cute. Oh, that there will be an advent this year. It's going to start on December 1st. There will be a kit of 25 stickers that you can collect throughout December. This one, unlike the vial contest, is A, not a contest, but B, they're going to come out every single morning. So... I'm telling everybody here now, December 1st is when the first one's going to drop in the Facebook group. So if you see it, grab it because they are going to go up in the morning. And then the next morning when the next one comes up, the first one is coming down. Okay. And these, like all of my freebies are not going to be for sale. Okay. So if you miss one, I'm sorry you missed one. So Make sure you check the Facebook group throughout December if you want to collect the full kit. And you want to collect the full kit, okay? I'm telling you that right now. It is so goddamn cute. So super cute. Yeah, put it in your planner. Uh, we don't do that, Anna. I don't know if other people do. They will go up on Facebook uh, probably at 7 central um, because I am going to queue them ahead of time. So um, I'm thinking probably 7 o'clock central is when they're going to go up every day. And unlike the vials, these are going to be at this time. So 7 o'clock every morning throughout December, the 1st through the 25th, that's where they'll be. Yeah, they'll be up all day. So 7 a.m., this one goes up. Next morning at 7 a.m., this one comes down. The next one goes up. So it's 24 hours for each one. Uh, I'll take your word on that, Colleen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be just like last year. Yep. And I will say this one does have a few because December, remember, is when the character changes are going to happen. There are a few revamped characters that I tucked into this Advent set. So don't miss them, you guys. They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. So cute. I am so cold. Are we done? Did I plan? I didn't put days. I'm going to put day covers on. Sorry. 24th. See, the 28th of November, I believe, is also the first day of Hanukkah. Oh, stupid American calendar. Hold on. Twenty-fourth. 
2021. Yeah, Sunday the 28th through December 6th. I mean, I figure I could give y'all a heart attack, you know. You know, what is Monday? Anyways, the 15th. But they're probably going to look stupid in this font, so I'm going to have to find it. Oh, this one should work. What did I say? It wasn't 15. <laughs> That's so big. Okay, maybe I'm going to. Jesus. Seriously. There we go. So, you guys, quest. Got to put a box down first, Jenna. I was looking at my calendar today um, because I need to start drawing the samplers for December. Will you get over there? I need to start drawing the samplers for December, and that's how this whole thing started. Okay, we have <laughs> in December. Should we bother having pajama planning on the 26th? I mean, should we? I don't know. Do you do an advent calendar kit or a countdown kit? I did a countdown kit. Uh, I think I did one in 2019. And I don't think it was really that popular. It was really cute though, dang it. So I'm going to show it to you. It was right. I have to be careful where I'm looking. There it is. So I thought it was super cute. Was it 2019? That's what I thought. So, I mean, if you guys want one, let me know and I can do one. Oh my God. How cute would it be to have each character holding a sign? Shit. All right. Okay. Um, I have... Okay, hold on. I have... I have 19... If we include Maynard and Lila, 20 if we include Edgar, 21 if we include Benji, 22 if we include Jenna, 23 if we include David, <laughs> I will be here. If you guys want to have pajama planning on the 26th, I will be here. I will probably be... Oh, the ferrets! All right, all right, we'll do it. I'll make it happen. <sighs> That's going to be cute. I was doing something important. Oh, did it have to do with my calendar? The only set including them all. Damn right, it would be the only one. You can throw PR peeps in there, right? What was I looking up? I was looking up something. You guys distracted me. Well, I don't remember now, so there. All right, well, I have to get that one done soon because we're coming up on the first pretty goddamn quick, right? Wow. Wow. Thank you. That's what I was doing. Oh, my God. I would have walked around all week with a half-completed day calendar, I'm telling you. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even have noticed. There we go. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do the 26th. I mean, A, not everybody does, you know, Christmas per se. But then B, some people who do, afterwards you're like, yo, I need to chill. <laughs> like, I'm just going to sit here and screw around for a couple hours. Because that's a lot. Right on. All right, I'm going to say this right now for everybody listening. 
kits with every character involved are going to be few and far between. That is off. Frack load of work for one set, and your girl just does not have that in her. So consider a kit with lots of characters like the Halloween sets or this countdown set. Consider those limited edition and grab them when you see them because they're not going to be very common. That's a lot of work. I'm so stupid excited for February's kit this year, you guys, for the exclusive. It's going to be Quinn's first year with the new redesign, and I got some ideas. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. You guys know I'm kind of shit at self-marketing. Yeah, right? Exactly, Anna. That's what I was thinking. Hell yeah, Crystal. My birthday too, Colleen. <laughs> Neva, oh my god. See, I was I was thinking, I was like, well, you could put like some some lotion or something in there, but then it's gonna A get really crusty and B, it's just gonna slide right back off. You gotta muscle that thing on, girl. <laughs> So here's okay. We're going to we're going to have a chat here friends, okay? So I do. I do, Mary Jo. I you know what? When it comes to the characters that I have and the characters that I've designed, every single one of them and I am working on this, but every single one of them has a backstory in my head. Like when I'm drawing a kit with Quinn for example, like in my head, I'm like, okay, would Quinn do this? Would Quinn do that? How would Quinn do this? You know? And it's the same with every single character. So when I create a set, when I create an exclusive set, especially, it's like my baby. Like that is my, my creative children. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm weird like that. I don't get it. But so there are camps. I'm Jen, I'm working on that. That is coming. But there are camps, okay? The characters are very polarizing in a way because I've had people tell me that like, Anna, I thought that too, but then it's going to be stuck in there. You can't get it out. So um, I was thinking, or I, I was talking to some people and we did that. Do you remember when we did that big um, Zodiac thing? Like uh, it was the Zodiac picture and the um, the alignment, the the alignment chart with all of the characters people on there were very, very adamant about, oh, this is my favorite character. Oh, this is my favorite character. This is my least favorite character. And this is my least favorite character. So they're like, Quinn was one of the super polarizing characters. You either loved her or you did not like her at all, as far as these two posts went. So Quinn was one of them. Um, Saval was another. And then um, I don't think anybody disliked Sassy publicly. Sassy wouldn't stand for that. Um, but Quinn was up there. Gibraltar was another one. But a lot more people like Gibraltar than I thought, which is really fun for me. I love that. But um, yeah, Quinn was at the top of that list of love her or hate her. Sassy's my least favorite. See, there. that's my point. Everybody has a favorite and everybody has a least favorite. So when... When the characters, like when I'm creating characters and when I'm designing kits and things like that, this does not enter my head at all. I don't, I don't care what other people think of the characters that I make because I make them for a reason with myself, right? Every single one of these characters has something of me in them and that's just the way it goes. But Amanda, <laughs> but, um... Quinn is one of the ones that I is one of my favorites because Quinn is that person who is unapologetically female, you know, and I'm not trying to be like sexist or anything like that, but she's like the embodiment of I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Whereas a character like, say, Davy, I guess, is a lot more neutral of a character. There's something everybody could, you know, find in a Davy kit. Whereas, like, Quinn, 
I don't hesitate to put Quinn in a set about, say, um, LGBTQ plus issues or anything that has a strong stance. Quinn is one of the characters I turn to. So I don't know. It's 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 like Quinn is my unapologetically Jenna character, I guess. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. It sassy is too sassy for a few people. I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. But um, I think if you wanted a less sassy character who is still a little bit sassy, that's going to be Frankie. Frankie, Frankie was one of the ones who was lowest on the list, but I think with her redesign, she's going to go up because her entire, I guess, energy shifted. This is so funny. I feel like I'm talking about like real people. <laughs> yeah, Quinn, Quinn's, Quinn's the I am what I am. Kiss my A. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh. I'm I'm really excited for for the backstories and stuff and I'm still you guys I'm still trying to find a way to bring Benji in. I love and I put <laughs> I put him on the uh the new um new releases thing because I was like he's got to be here somewhere. So I need to find where his place is. Once I find it, it's going to be right, but I haven't found it yet. So yeah. <laughs> Like I'm talking about my children. <laughs> See, Quinn. Yeah, Benji's the blue-haired one. Let's. I have the character sheet of Benji in here. Right here. I love this little guy so much. I haven't found his place yet, but I love him. He could, and that's a consideration. That is definitely a consideration. Or he could be like a a PR character. I don't know. I don't know yet. Not sure. I don't think cause he's he's a redesign style character, so drawing him would be like drawing like Frankie. See, I considered him for being a Facebook character also, but then I was like, well, Facebook I don't know how to put this into words. Facebook's like, we've been, we've been going back and forth with Facebook for a little while. Like me and the PR team were like, okay, we're trying to grow the Facebook family. And we're also trying to keep engagement up in Facebook because I, you guys see on my planner each week, I put my social media trackers and stuff. Our Facebook group is one of the most active out there, which I'm so stoked about. However, we keep gaining and losing the same 10 followers every week. However, now, since I got the, uh, since we changed the group name and we added the Facebook specific PR members, we added three members who are just for Facebook. We've gone up quite a bit in the last week and a half, which is freaking awesome. But creating a kit like this for a group where there's not yet where there's not enough people to warrant all of the work that goes into it is kind of a bitch. Like here on Twitch, you guys, <laughs> Twitch bitch, here on Twitch, I have no problem making Lila's and Edgar kits because we're here twice a week. We get it done. We come in, we play, we plan, we draw. And it's like, hell yeah, this is awesome. But Facebook, I feel like it's the same group of people who are constantly keeping our group going. Like I see Claudette's posts. I see Diamond's posts, my posts, obviously, Mandy's, Amanda's, the team. We see um, Anna post. We see Donna post, um, Lex post. Like I'd say there's probably 20 to 30 of us who post consistently, which is awesome. And then there's like 750 people who are there, but don't participate. You know what I mean? So it's like, do I create this character for this? It, it feels like it would be limiting for the character. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but I, I want the... I want the most amount of people to be able to enjoy it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. 
No, I, Neva, let me let me say too, I'm not ragging on people who don't post. That's not the point at all. It's not supposed to be a chore. It's not supposed to be like, oh, I gotta go post in the Facebook group. Fuck that. You post if you like a thing that you made. You know what I mean? Um, it's not about that at all. It's... I, I want this character, who is so near and dear to me right now, to have an awesome space to, to for people to enjoy. You know what I mean? It's, and again, you guys, it's not... It's not that. It's not that I feel like everybody has to post something. That's not it at all. It's compared to Instagram, compared to Twitch, which holy crap, our Twitch is doing amazing. You know, Insta, Twitch, um, YouTube, these platforms are consistently growing. We're getting, you know, more people coming into plan, more weirdos like us coming into play. And then Facebook is just constantly just, you know, so... I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe... I don't know if I can make an Instagram character. Would that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, Claudette, exactly. Life happens. Life totally happens. That's an option. A holiday character. Oh, hey, speaking of, Neva, you guys, if anybody has any requests for the um, Instagram, I just, Donna, you threw me off, for the Extreme Planner for 2022, don't hesitate. Let us know in the Discord or here on Twitch because uh, December's, like I said, I finished this morning, but new, like, new ideas and stuff for 2022, I'm all down to hear it. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking about character releases and uh, Facebook being a douchebag. Yeah, Anna C, exactly. That's my same thing, too. I like seeing uh, what other people post. And I, I especially with the with the one that we're doing now with the layouts, it's so cool to see how one person will take the same layout that this person has and both spreads look totally different. That is so neat to me. That is fun. And I, I laugh because, like, I draw this crap, right? I make these things. And I put them out there. And you little creative bastards, you do something so different. And I'm like, I, that never would have occurred to me to think of. Dana, that's possible? I think I like the... Hit me my woohoo! I think I like the idea of having... um. Like a, a, a holiday character. Hmm. I don't know. We're still working on... Oh, God, that color challenge was hell. It was hell. <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs> oh, that was so hard. I struggle with the blank page, too, not gonna lie. And another thing that I'm struggling with, you guys, and this is so funny because I made the goddamn thing. One of the things I'm struggling the most with is that goddamn blue cover. I hate it. I hate it so much. And that's one of my favorite blues. But I always, when I do, because I do the little uh, page, right? I do the page as is. And then I take that page and put it on a desktop. And I, oh, ooh. I always end up cutting the cover off. Always. See, Barbie, that's true. But then how do you fill 31 days of that? Oh, I've used them twice. I bought them two days ago. I've already used them twice. See, planners without the covers is like literally how I plan. My plan, you guys see my plan. Where is my planner? There's no cover here. So I could do whatever with this spread and put it wherever and it wouldn't clash with anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can't stand it. So for next month for December for me I'm going back to my blank squares yeah right exactly I use the transients for that too I'm going back to my blank squares screw this cover stuff screw it okay here here's a question okay so when we started extreme planning in 2019 I want to say now we had um we had in September I want to say 
where I did, um, oh, see, now you're getting, we'll see, maybe, but we had a, a, a month where I did, instead of daily, I had four or five, I think it was four for that specific month, weekly layouts. And then we did one too. Mandy might have to confirm this for me of when this was, but we did one where I did prompts. I want to say it was October of 2019. Could be wrong, but I did a daily prompt list, but then I also gave the option of a weekly prompt. Was that right? Somebody back me up on that. She gets me too, man. You, you do whatever you need to do to be okay. You know, if that looks like playing with stickers, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Does that sound right? That's what I thought. But yeah, we did that too. So you could either do a daily prompt or it would be like one prompt that you worked on throughout the week. That might be something that we could try for January for 2022 is having a weekly versus daily option. So then it's like not quite so pressured, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, honestly, right now my life is literally... I'd say 70% parenting. How much percent does that leave me with? Okay, that's a lie then. Probably 60% parenting, 30% this work stuff, and then 5% this stupid project that I'm working on, and then another 5% of playing Minecraft. That's literally my life. So for somebody, you know, who has a, a job that's not this, you know, trying to find the time to do this, I could imagine it would be a real bitch. But I mean, this is part of my brand is to do the planners and do the extreme planning. So it's like I work it into my day. Minecraft totally counts as parenting, dude. Hell yeah, I'm addicted. <laughs> I've seen people do that, Barbie. I have seen people do that. Like you decorate a, a desktop and then just change out pieces of it throughout the week. Anna, that's me too, honestly. I try to do like, uh, I, guys, I'll make one. I will make one if I'm not the only dingus nerd who would use it. I so would. <laughs> I never played it either. I Lachlan and Caleb have been playing it. Gosh. Since like at least four years, at least. And I never touched it because I have a real hard time with like first person style games. And I learned just last week that you can back off the camera because the kids always play where you can always see what the hand is doing. Right. And so uh, when you can when you can back off and see your character, like how World of Warcraft works, then I can play it because I have a basis to, to orient my eyes so I don't get motion sickness. I started playing it, you guys. Oh my God, it's better than Sims. I love Sims. I love Sims. It's a sandbox style game, Jay. Okay, that Anna, that's the appeal for me because super graphically intense games like say Call of Duty or Battlefield or even Fortnite to a degree, they make me so motion sick because they're too detailed. There's too much movement on the screen and I just can't hang. I can't. It makes me so nauseated. But stuff with simpler graphics, I can play. I can hang out with. And oh shit, I love it so much. I, I Amanda, I say that because it's new. I only started playing it about, what, four days ago? I started in Sims 1, you guys. Sims 1. I started in Sims 1. Okay, I've been playing Sims for... A, at least a decade now and I love it so and I love Nintendo 8 bits those were my favorite games I like Animal Crossing 2 but I'm, I'm in a big time Minecraft groove right now I'm loving it so much it's I'm so stupid I made this big honking castle like I ditched the family because they like creepers in the house and I can't 
So I like moved on over to the other side of the server or of our little realm. And I built myself this castle out of like this black bricks. I've got this blood red roof. It's like, I have a pony. I have a pony. Her name is Anna Bananas. No, it's not. It's Annie Banani. And I have a saddle. We're playing survival. <laughs> I play in survival. I like the, I like the little, the aspect of the, um, of the combat. And I, I learned how to dig. So now I have like this huge mine that I dug down to like row three in the, um, coordinates. So I'm finding like diamonds and this red shit that looks like blood. If you throw it on the ground, I'm, I'm having so much fun. You guys, I'm such a dork. <laughs> I didn't, Jay. Okay, I grew up, like, I think 1985, I was in elementary school. Yes, Redstone. I was in elementary school, and I got, like, the original NES, like, with the Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. And I I had that one, and then I had the Super Nintendo, and then I stopped after that. I didn't game for a long time. Then I switched to computer gaming, and I played, like, World of Warcraft, Sims, things like that. And then for Hanukkah last year, my husband bought me a Switch. It's been downhill ever since. <laughs> like, I I love Don't Starve, Graveyard Keeper. See, and that's the thing, you guys. Graveyard Keeper is another game that has that 8-bit retro style. And I think that's one of the reasons that I love it so much. It's, it's nostalgic for me, and it doesn't hurt my eyes. I love it so much. Yeah, crap graphics don't really... Oh, shit, I need to post Lilas. Crap graphics don't bother me. They make it... They make it easier for me to play. I love it. I love it so much. Stupid addicting game. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. I enjoy sunsets, long walks on the beach, and frisky women. <sighs> Growl. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a Minecraft thing. I played Duke Nukem when it was Duke Nukem. See, I, on, and I think the graphics, I honestly, people are saying that WoW is too old school graphic. You know, when you compare it to things like Fortnite and whatnot, people are bitching that WoW hasn't had a graphical upgrade. Delicious. Delicious. But for me, if it did, I wouldn't be able to play it anymore because it would give me headaches. So I love it the way it is. Oh, I also did Diablo. I loved Diablo, too. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so fun! Oh, I love that. Now I want to go play Minecraft. <laughs> I loved Diablo. That was so fun. I also played, um... I think we talked about this once before, the Guild Wars. But get... Oh, Ah, I need to do that. All right, you're sucking the fun out of it, man. Space bar to jump! Yes! Duke Nukem, though, was one that I had a hard time playing because it was first person. So anything beyond that old, old style, I can't do it. Man, I was... I got good at that game. <laughs> that was during the year that I lived in South Carolina. And I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of time outside of my room. I played a lot of Duke Nukem. Halo's another one that I can't play. Oh, that's awesome. See, I, on, on, on Thursday is when we're supposed to be playing WoW. It, again, it doesn't always happen because of time and stuff, but we'll see. I think I got my, my Druid to 66. Yeah, 66, finally. Stupid. We missed our chance at the pony. All right, guys. Yeah, it's uh, we're about two hours in, so we should probably go. I'm going to actually pop the Lilas up one more time just to make sure that everybody gets them. They kept shooting me in the head. Rude. <laughs> See, that's like I can play with Lachlan, play Minecraft with Lachlan because he's fun. He likes to make things. He likes to go adventuring. Caleb's a dick. He'll knock you off of stuff. He'll, uh, like, go into your treasure boxes and take all your crap. But then he gets mad if you do it to him. Caleb's sassy. <laughs> I love the Lilas. I need to send them to Bren because she's the one who who wanted the, um, who was looking for a grocery kit. 
and uh, I didn't have one. So I need to, I, I made that one of Lila with a grocery bag for her. I made Lila purple because um, Twitch is purple. Their brand color is purple. So I just took the color from Twitch, like their hex code, and used it to make Lila. That's how David plays too, Barbie. He hides in a hole and waits. Awesome, you guys. Cool. Thanks a lot, Crystal. Real, that's so funny. That's like perfect then. What was I doing, Drive? I need to send this to Bren. Copy link. And Claudette too, I think. Picked up my groceries last night. Yeah, see, we do the delivery more than we do the, the actual going out and fetching the groceries, which is why I did the out for delivery set. That and because you guys obviously had requested it. But I was like, ooh, I need to do this because that's, that's a set that I'll use a lot. <laughs> All right, have a good one, you guys. I'm going to send this to Claudette and to Bren. That's not Bren. Bren, where are you? There we go. All right. So cool. Um, let me know, you guys, if you have a request, what we want to do for Tuesday, two days away. Hopefully the computer is not a douche. Um, so if you have any requests, just let me know in the messages. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.